Hi everybody, I'm Brittany Castle. I'm a deaf artist and the founder of 58 Creativity. That's my own business. I'm very excited to be collaborating today with Crayola in their Art of Learning series. And we'll be talking about sign language and the deaf community and how to communicate visually with your hands. I myself love incorporating ASL into my art and I love creating art. Today, I'll be showing you different tips and different techniques for doing that yourself. So it's exciting when kids realize that everyone can learn sign language. My parents knew ASL because my father is a CODA, which stands for a child of deaf adults, which meant that my grandparents were deaf. So my father signed growing up and he was surprised when I was born deaf and my twin sister was also born deaf and the two of us signed at home. And also we went to a deaf school our whole lives in a signing environment and we felt very comfortable there with the language. ASL is not a universal language. Worldwide, there are many, many different sign languages. Over 300 sign languages around the world and ASL has been around for over 200 years. ASL is a real language with its own vocabulary, its own rules, and its own word order and grammar. It's a visual language and 500,000 people all over America use American Sign Language to communicate. It can show emotion, facial expression, and I'll give you an example. If you use the sign beauty, that can also be modified with your facial expression. If you don't have much of an expression, it can be kind of pretty. But if you use this facial expression, you might be talking about somebody drop dead gorgeous or something extremely beautiful. So there's many words for each sign and it's a very visual language. The deaf community utilizes facial expressions to modify and create more or less intensity for each sign they choose. Let's have some fun and make some hands-on ASL arts and crafts. We are today going to make, actually you're going to need four things before we start. Some colored markers, some colored paper, some scissors, and a glue stick or regular glue in a container, whatever you prefer, whatever you like to use, and whatever you're comfortable with. So today we're gonna to have some fun and make an I love you sign and put it on the card to give to someone you love. So the I love you sign in ASL looks like this. And there's an I in there, which stands for I, and L, which stands for love, and a Y, which stands for you. And it's all on one side. So we're going to trace our hands and then cut it out. So let's start the video and you'll see what to do. So now you can see that this person is using a pencil to trace around all the fingers of the hand and make sure that the hand shape is there on the paper. If you make a mistake, you're using pencil. So it's okay because afterwards, you're going to use a marker to trace on top of the outline that you just did so it can be seen more clearly on the colored paper. The color pencil is pretty light, so you use something darker afterwards. Then you'll cut it out and you'll see that there's a lot of variety. Everyone has a different hand shape. Adult hands might be bigger and kids' hands might be smaller, and maybe it's cute to have the I love you sign with a smaller kid hand. So the I love you sign has been around since 1970. You can use it between couples or somebody you love, you can also use it when you say goodbye to somebody in sign language. It's showing somebody that you really like them. It doesn't have to be a deep, incredible love. It's just a variety of ways to use the sign, which shows people that you care about them. So then you're going to cut this out. Cut out the shape of the hand, and then you'll see that you'll use some other paper and glue the shape onto the other paper. And you'll see how it goes from there. So you'll see that it looks more three-dimensional on paper because you can fold down those two middle fingers and create a card that's actually 3D. So just the same as your actual hands. You have to glue it down except for those two fingers in the middle. Just glue it on the back of the other fingers so you can fold the two middle fingers down and on the back of the hand.
And you can see that the person in the video is putting a little bit of glue on the tips of those two fingers so they can be folded over and glued to the paw. And now you can decorate it with whatever you feel like, some flowers or whatever you want to put on there. And you can use it to give somebody a gift with a card. And it shows your use of ASL in your artwork. So the I Love You sign has become pretty international. Most signers around the world know the sign. So when you meet deaf friends from other countries and you give them the I Love You sign, they'll understand it and it shows that you care about them. So not only that, not only I Love You, but you can also use your finger spelled name or put a letter in there like an A or a B or a C or whatever you want to do. You can spell your name, trace around your hand to make the hand shapes fill letters of your name, and glue them on there as well. So every maker has a different approach. You can decorate it however you want. You can write something on it. You can even write, I love you on the palm of the hand, or you can even say, I love you, mom, dad, uncle, friend, whatever and you can make it into a card and give it to who you want to give it to. And you should feel good about that. Deaf culture and history, I love incorporating into my artwork. You can learn a lot about people through interacting with them through art. And I'm very proud to be an advocate for the deaf community. Being an advocate means helping people to understand what your needs are and what your strengths are and understanding other people's needs and strengths. You too can be an advocate by communicating about the needs of people who are different from you or similar to you, whether it's the written word, art, or in your activities. If you'd like to see more of my artwork about American Sign Language and various forms of expression, how we express ourselves through a visual language and through art, you can check out my website at 58creativity.com. And don't forget to check out Crayola's other art of learning videos for more ways to learn through art. 